turned up YouTube, Trevor, somewhat or nothing. Welcome to a new edition of Sitting on the Kitchen Floor. Uh, basically, you might have seen in our recent videos the debacle I was having with this bag. You can see what's happened, but these don't come up any higher than that. And there's that ridge there. So your shoulders are here, the back of my head is here. It's just restrictive and awful. I don't know if anyone else has had that issue for some reason and that's it that's as high as it goes so whether that was always an issue and I just made more of a fuss of it I don't know but anyway I spent nearly 70 quid on that bag so it wasn't cheap cheap but it wasn't like really expensive but it's let me down for enough's enough I'm not having that bag so I've ordered a new bag this Quetio Forklers 50 it's a 50 litre bag which is all prompted me to make this video because I've got quite a lot of stuff in this bag I've got to fit it into this bag. This was a 65 plus 10. This is a 50. So weight reduction. Nafe's running up that route. I've sort of been putting it off cost wise more than anything. But I think from going one bag to the next and leaving room for my cameras, I think I'm going to have to do some sort of weight reduction video. So here we go. Let's look at everything I carry. I'm even going to write it down. Wondering Jay, you'd be proud of me. Right, first of all, my little mat. To be honest, it's crap. It's not big enough. If I sit on that, I always get wet. So the last couple of times, I haven't actually took it out. So that was 24 grams. Bin. Right, phone charger. Charger, USB charger. It seems to work, but you've got to keep an eye on it. I don't understand it. If I plug my stuff in, it seems to, it seems to charge for a little while. Then when I come back, it's off. But I'm going to give it another go because if we're out on the trail and we do run out of phone, this will be handy. So the charger, we're keeping that. Now, I don't know whether to sell this bag on or um, hang on to it, use it for spare. Right, side pockets. Tin mug, 110 grams, it's going in. Now, first aid kit. Now I'm sure there's stuff in here that I don't need. Let's just weigh this. Right, 292 grams for the first aid kit. So I'm gonna go through that in a minute. I've got an alternative. I've got this little one. This is our family one, but it's got plasters, antiseptic wipes, scissors, rubber gloves, ibuprofen, paracetamol. So let's see if I can take anything out of here to put into that. A bit of Savlon, the tick removers, a little bottle of Germany. So I'd say there's more than enough in there. It's not as bulky, it's not in the plastic. So the new improved first aid kit is 225 grams, which is a saving of 67 grams. What else we got in here? Wash lips, washing your hands. These are antiseptic. Now, they're quite handy for camping. When you're camping out, you need to wash for a sense. Tissues, I probably don't need three packs of tissues. So we're not gonna put these in here, so weighing them, 47 grams. So tissues, hand wash, Another hand wash. We're going to get rid of this one. 53 grams. So that's my toilet trees. Water purification tablets. Now I haven't used these yet. Nate's got his MSR trail shop. I need to get a water purifier. But for now I've got these tablets. And I'll put them in the first aid box. Now, I could get rid of the package. So that's thrown away. That's six grams we've saved on the packaging. My spoon. Stain. It's 12 grams. Now, seasonal really, isn't it? Mozzie spray. I shouldn't have to take that out with me every time, but it's always handy to keep stuff like that in there, I find. So I just as well pack it. Same with the sun cream. It's better to have it in there so then next year when you do pack your stuff, you ain't got to worry about packing it. Is that lazy of me? That's how I roll. Alright, and then oh what have we got in here? A cloth for washing up, a micro cloth, so I'll keep that. So that's another pocket done. Turn around. Waterproof trousers. Well they gotta stay in. I mean waterproof packer jacket. So we keep that in my bag as well. I bought some spare boot laces, so we keep them. The torch for wild camping. <laughs> it's run out of batteries. But I have got a new headlamp, which Oh yeah, works fine. So I'm going to get rid of this one. It's quite a weighty little thing with the batteries in there. 179 grams. 
So at the moment, you can't see here on camera, I've got a pile of stuff here that's going in my new bag, and a pile of stuff over there that's not. So far, the pile in is massive, the pile out is not. More boot laces. What else have we got here? Sorry about that noise, that's my washing machine. We have more boot laces, and more boot laces. I don't think we need them. 19 grams. I've got a number of tools now, bushcrafty tools. My little knife with all the different blades. Got to have one of them when you go out, haven't you? Never used it. 107 grams. This here, little, little set, it's also got knives and things come out of it, saw. Well, that does the same job, really, but it's got the good set of pliers on it. So maybe we we'll keep that one and we'll get rid of the 107. And then this for starting a fire. I haven't used this yet. That doesn't mean I'm not going to. So I'm going to keep that in there as well in the little bush crafty section. One full hip flask of rum. 274 grams. So I think we'll keep that one. We've got a plastic plate. If we're eating the adventure film foods, we're just eating out of the packages. But if I was to have porridge or something in the morning, I'd keep it in the duct tape. Now, after my boots collapsed on scaffold bike, I've been told to always keep a set of that in. There's more cables there for the uh, solar charger. I shouldn't think I will need all these in here. I'm gonna get rid of them. So, 31 grams. That's all the pockets. Now we go into the main area. Hiking poles. I'm not entirely sure where these fit on this bag yet. The same thing with um, my sleeping bag and my tent. Used to pin nicely onto the outside of this one. This one hasn't got the same sort of strapping. I've got to get a new set of these. But at the moment, I've got one hiking pole and one monopod, which I use less and less now. So I think I will eventually look to get a new set of hiking poles. But at the moment, I'm putting these here as a set. 564 grams for my hiking poles. My map is going to go from one to the other, obviously. Somewhere I've got a Trangia stove that will eventually replace my jet ball. I don't want to get rid of my jet ball, I can't enjoy it, it's quite quick to make food, but there could be a weight saving there. And I've got a spare canister here. We'll keep one spare. 138 grams. My binos. Now, I don't use these a lot anymore. We used to use them a fair bit. They're handy to have, I guess. But for this adventure, I'm gonna take them out. I'm looking for room saving, so 364 grams for my binoculars saving. My safety blanket. Now, I was told when I first started by a chap who said he never took one. And um, one night he broke his leg up on the moors and he almost died of hypothermia because he, had to, he didn't have one of these. So he said he's always carry one. So off of his advice, I am going to keep that. So that's my old bag emptied. So far, I have made a saving of 1,036 grams, so just over a kilogram. Now, just out of interest, I measured my bags. The new bag comes in at 13.35, so one kilogram, 335 grams. The Van Gogh was two kilograms and 100 grams, so that's an additional saving of 765 grams. So if you add that onto what I've saved already in that little pile over there, that's almost two kilograms. So here we go. So it seems to fit all that, feels snug. Can adjust it all tight when I've got my jacket on. But more importantly, I've got room for my head. So there we go, I've changed bags. I'll let you know how that goes when we're out on the field. As I said, I've still got my Van Gogh Sherpa. I think I'm gonna have to keep that one as a spare. Maybe even have a fiddle with it and see if I can get it to free up my head. But from looking at it, that's not going up any higher. You can see that there. See the step? So your head is just constantly hitting that. It didn't matter what we did. If I relaxed it off so it fell away, it didn't really. So, yeah, I don't know, help me out, people. So that was my little video. I've saved myself a few grams. Nathan will be proud. What a difference a bag makes. 
Anyway, thanks for watching me. I know you probably haven't learned anything, but you're just watching me struggling here. Anyway, lovely to see you. Thank you for watching. Please drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. And uh, we'll see you out on the trail. Good night.